Hi there and welcome to another PCHelpForum.com uh, guide to help you get the most out of your PC. Okay, today we're going to look at uh, CCleaner. It's a very popular free tool that's used uh, all over the place, including PCHelpForum.com. We recommend it. Uh, so let's go ahead and set it up. You see I've already downloaded CCleaner, so we'll double click on the setup file and run it. Uh, select your language. You've seen these screens many times before, I would imagine. And click on Next. Okay, if you want to read through the terms and agreement, terms and license agreement, then that's absolutely fine. Uh, I personally, I'm just going to click on Agree here. Uh, if you want to change the location where the file is uh, installed or the program is installed, then you can do that here through the usual method of browsing for the folder. Uh, we're going to click on Next. This is important. Uh, if you look at the install options here, you'll see that the final one here says add CCleaner Yahoo toolbar and use CCleaner from your browser. If you use Yahoo, that's great. Uh, by all means, go ahead and install it. If you don't, you might see it as uh, something you don't need. So I'm going to uncheck that. OK, you click on install and it's done. It's finished. So I'll click on finish and it will start the program up. OK, the two things that we're going to look at here, uh, one is the cleaner and one is the registry tool. Uh, as for the cleaner, uh, if you want to remove all of these items here in the left hand side, mainly temporary files, uh, things that you don't need to be worried about because they'll just sit in the background uh, gathering uh, space as they go. Uh, you want to get rid of them, so this is the tool to do it. Uh, click on Analyze, uh, that will do, run a quick analysis of the files on your PC that can be removed. This is a, a brand new install. Uh, of Windows XP so there won't be anything here really uh, with yours it may take quite a bit longer so give it a while let it finish when it's finished you'll get to this screen here it'll say the analysis is complete and uh, and then you'll click on run cleaner uh, you'll get a, a, a warning message like this come up saying uh, basically that the files are going to be deleted Do you want to get rid of them permanently of course you do so click OK and that's it. it. As I say, on my system, it's a lot quicker than it will be on yours. And let it run its course, and you'll come up with the very same message here, cleaning complete. OK, that's all the temporary files dealt with. Let's look at the registry. So if we click on the registry button here, the registry is effectively a catalogue of all the uh, programs that you've had installed on your PC. Uh, and over time, it gathers uh, bits of information that no longer need to be in there. Uh, and this little handy little program takes out all of those uh, entries and uh, basically speeds the PC up in the process. Okay, so uh, we're going to click again, st scan for issues. So it's having a look through again. It's going to be quicker on mine than it is uh, than it will be on yours. Uh, it's come up with one here, which is great. Uh, so I'll click on fixed selected issues next. Uh, and importantly, if uh, if you want to back up your registry changes. Uh, that it's going to make, i.e. taking away all of these entries out of your registry, uh, then make a backup. Uh, I'll show you quickly how to do that. So we'll say, yes, we want to backup. Uh, it's already named the file. So choose somewhere where you're not going to lose the file. I'll choose the desktop and click on Save. And then immediately you'll see that that's a, a registry backup file uh, that's been created there for you to take the registry back to how it was prior to uh, using CCleaner if you need to. OK, uh, next fix issue. OK, so with me it was just the one. Uh, with you, it could run into hundreds, possibly even thousands of issues. Um, so again, uh, let it do what it needs to do and you'll come up against this screen. Issues fixed. Close that and that's it, you're done. Uh, we'll close CCleaner. Make sure you use it every month. Uh, clean all the bits and pieces away that don't need to be there anymore, especially things like temporary internet files and Windows temporary files. Okay, thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you again for another PCHelpForum.com guide.